Are you familiar of any statement in the entirety of the Bible where Jesus himself identifies who the only true God is? Are you familiar? Okay. No, familiar. are you familiar? Familiar with where Jesus Christ himself identifies who the only true God is. Yeah. Are you familiar? Yeah. Okay. Who does he identify the only true God to be? Him or someone else? After, after his incarnation, he claimed to be God the Father is the only true God. After his incarnation. And Jesus claimed to be, he was pre-existent. When Jesus he was pre-existed, he was God. I've just I've just taken the turn of Paul. He was the form of God. Listen, listen. He was the form of God. You are suggesting again, before incarnation and after incarnation, the only true God became different. Uh, hang a minute, I'll just explain. Like, before I just you, explain to you. Before you, you explain. Read, may I just explain to you? Are you claiming wiser than those who translate the Bible? Okay. Are, you are you claiming yourself you are wiser than those who translate the Bible? Which translation would you like? However, all the Christian translation, Say. all the all the Christian translations, they all have one interpretation: of Jesus is God. Where does it say Jesus is God? Uh, Which I, translation? I, I'm asking you: Are you wiser than those who translate? Uh, Do you understand Hebrew more than those wait, who translate wait, it? Wait, 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 wait. I'm asking you a question. I am answering. Do you? Do you I am answering. What? So listen. The Bible translations have been guilty in mistranslating. I can give you many translations from Bible Hub where they translate the same phrase differently. Wait, wait. Now, when you say translators, if the Bible translators themselves are translating it differently, then what does it tell you? That some translation is misleading. It is making you think that it means God when it isn't. So I'm asking you again, open John 17:3. I, I, no, 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 I'll go with you. I'll go. But let me, let me just explain. Can you open you it? Can you open it? Can you? I'm, I'm asking you questions. What does it say in here? Can you spell it? Can you spell it in English? What does it say in here? In the midst of. Can you spell it? L. No, 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 no. In English. Read it in English. What does it say in here? In English. Yeah. It says G O D S with a small G. A small G. Right. Okay. With with S okay. capital. Okay. okay. Wait, wait, wait. No, wait, wait. Don't wait, go yet. Wait. Don't go yet. Wait. 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 Just wait. Just you've wait. just you've just answered my question. Wait. Wait. So, so they've translated wait, L wait, as God. Wait, wait. What does it say? So I've showed him one verse in the Old Testament. He says God with a small G and with S. Yes. Okay. God with small G and S. Now the pun of the Apostle Paul. What does it say about God Himself in here? Capital G. Is that Hebrew? Hang on a minute. Is that Hebrew? What does it say? It. What does it's it say? Capital in here? G. Capital G. Is there any S? No. No. So who? Wait. Why? Here. So why? now we are talking. We are talking about. So now Jesus. You are have, talking about. Thank God, you very much. Jesus. Shake my hand. No, no. Thank you very much to expose those Bible translators. Thank you. No, no, I appreciate. No, no. no. Now, no, no, wait, no, wait, no. wait, no. wait, no. wait, no. wait, no. wait. No. wait. No. Excuse me. Listen, listen. I don't understand. Now, listen, listen. No, no, no. Let's go back to the original Hebrew in Psalm 82. He's not talking. Excuse me. In Psalms 82. But who are they? No. I have one thing. One thing. Please. please okay. One, one thing. One thing. Please. One thing. When it says here about the verse you point. Okay, in the midst of the gods, to whom he was talking to? God. How many no, gods do you believe? No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. God, you see, God with, yeah. with no S, with capital yeah. G. God has taken his place in the divine councils. Mm -hmm. Okay, in the midst of the gods. Mm -hmm. So we have God, Elohim, the Almighty, yes. and we have others. Mm -hmm. You know what I said? No, You're no, no. proving me again and again. No, you know what I said? Well, no. Who are, are they? Many gods. Who are they? According to the Bible, many gods. Who are they? Thank you. Well done. You have now established that so there are many gods, but there is only one true God. Yes. Is that? But hang on a minute. Right. Small g. Thank you. Small g. So now you realize, as I said, there are many gods in the Bible, but out of all these many gods, there is only one true God. With yes. a Do you agree so far? With, with a capital, capital G. G. Look, look. Elohim. 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 Okay, Elohim. now read verse 6. Verse 6. Mm -hmm. I said, you are God. To whom he's talking? It's a capital G, small g. Who is I? Who is talking to? God is saying. To the judges. Yes. He's talking, is to, that the who, he's listen. talking to the Israelite listen, judges. Listen, listen. I'm going to show you the mis misleading translation by your translators. Open up your mind. Now, read it. Verse 6 says God with a small g, right? Yeah. Good. In the Hebrew, verse 6. It says God. Look at the transliteration. Elohim. 
Look at the Hebrew word. Elohim. But look at the translation of the English. Okay. Stop and listen to yeah. me for a second, my friend. Yeah. In your translation, yeah. the word gods with a small g is translated from the Hebrew word Elohim. Let's go back to verse 1. The first word, God, is that with a small g or a big g? Capital G. Right. Let's go up there, verse 1. Now, wait for the shock. Don't faint. Don't faint. Verse 1. God. Translated from which word? Okay. Elohim. I don't, I don't read Hebrew. Look, look. I don't read Hebrew. Look at the English translation. I don't he okay. English translation at the top. What does it say? English is God. No, at the top, transliteration, not translation. Okay. At the top, Elohim. Okay. The same word has been translated to deceive you once with a capital G and once with a small g. Well done, no, 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 you. Well done, Tux Frozen. Thank you very much for exposing just, your biblical translators. One, the same word they translate to I, mislead you. Sure. Are you wiser? Are you wiser than that website? Listen. I'm asking listen. you a question. Anyone who's listening here, Why? go to an interlinear. Psalms 82 in Hebrew, English, and a transliteration. You will can find, I, can I, can I just use it? you will find the same word when it applies to God, they use a capital G. But when they know the human beings are also called Elohim, but we can't call them God, they deceptively translate with a small g. There is no deceptive in the Bible. I've just shown you. If do you have anything to say in defending your translators? Deceptive translators. Same word. First, they say God with a capital G because God himself speaking. The same word is used again, my friend, as Elohim. Same word. But for human judges, it then translated with a small g and with an s at the end. Shame on you and on your translators.